we're off. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Hey. Certainly enough of us. Thanks. Yo, no, no arrows, though, motherfucker. Got a chance to <laughs> chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. Mm. I can dig it. Kinda you like that. wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Oh, he's retarded. <laughs> Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Here we go. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's our jerk, you know? Can't help but like him. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? Frankly, I don't think it's any of your business. Oh! Hey, whoa! Clearly I touched a nerve, huh? <laughs> well, just keep on your toes. Here they come, the creatures of the night. Oh, oh. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. Keep moving. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Zombies, skeletons, creepers, and spiders, yeah. We gotta fuck the shit up. Eight-bit sword of legend. Come on now, spiders, zombies, snakes. Wait, there's no snakes. There's no snakes in this game. Why aren't there snakes in Minecraft? That's actually a valid question. Why aren't there any snakes in Minecraft? Flash the zombie. Flash the zombie. Zombie down now. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! Walking Dead eat your heart out! Kill the zombies like Michonne! Slash it, slash it, stab it, stab it! Music's good, catchy! Zombie, zombie, stab! Oh! No time to lose. I got a silver trophy. Chapter four. That was chapter four. Then what was chapter three? Soren, really? What, what the? Here? It's so far from anyone. Oh, you know what it is? Enchanted. Hold on. You know what I think it was? If you remember, in the previous episode, there was a choice at the end of the episode. Did you want to go for Eligard? Did you want to go for uh, what's his name, the Rogue? And we chose Eligard. So I think we played the portion of the game that's Eligard. I bet if you go back and replay episode one and you do it, you, you could actually go get the rogue and therefore you'll get the other half of that se segment and maybe get the other trophy. That's what I'm thinking. Isn't it? <coughs> What's that about? Choking. Damn it, I told you to stop smoking. Go vaping. It's much healthier. Of course. Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you all get on him at once? You know, because added weight won't make it any more dangerous. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. <laughs> Super <laughs> Minecraft Brothers! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Do the jump, the quick time dance, and now the column falls! Now you're dead! <laughs> Hang no! On, I'm coming! No! Ruben! Save Ruben! <laughs> Jesse! You okay? That was crazy. Huh. Looks like Ruben thought so too. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you, Ruben? <laughs> what a rush. Whoa! Whoa. 
Look, that's what was happening. What? Enderman. What the shit? I'm not sure, but I'm glad we're not a part of it. Come on, we should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Hmm. Yeah, why are they taking the blocks? That was weird. Wow. This architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. I how the others didn't even wait for them. They didn't give a shit. Swim, 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 oh, swim, 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 yeah. It's just a pointless building. That's all I'm saying. I mean, look Madness, at... Madness, if an artist painted the inside of your mind, he'd end up with the most extraordinary desert scape. That's it. <laughs> I'm going. Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no. You do not get to be the one who walks away. Boy, these two are just fucking bickering That's like it. crazy. I'm going. Damn. See, I'm walking away too now. Super TNT, here I come. Well, at least they walked in the right color-coded directions. It's glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Hmm. Can't walk any further that way. Oh, boo! Oh, we could talk to, uh, Axel. We could try. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. <laughs> wow. This is very pertinent. Look. <laughs> like, what a fucking idiot. Petra? Petra doesn't look so good. Yeah, she was coughing. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? She won't talk. Damn. Something's up. Looks like Olivia's working up more plans as usual. Oh, cut him off. What the hell? Hey, Come on, Pat Oswald. Jesse? Finish your sentences. Yeah? It's Petra. She... I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, she's like screwed I up somehow. I tried asking, but she. Well, maybe she'll talk to you. Well, we tried. Weird. Something's up with her, huh? Some kind of a subplot forming. <clears throat> Soren the Builder, Magnus the Rogue, Eligard the Engineer, Gabriel the Warrior, and Joel the Plumber. Well, screw it. We're going to follow her again. Just for the hell of it. Petra? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Whoa, okay. But well, let's split up. Let's see what's going on with Petra. She's going to tell us, huh? In the Shadow of Giants, another trophy. Shit. Chapter 5. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. Hmm. You got me away from the wither storm. But I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. Whoa, I infected her or something? Oh, a wither rash. It showed up not too long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course, we've been... No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And... I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Oh, oh Jesus! Ah, 
Creeper. <laughs> oh shit. Grab my hand. I'll pull you up. Well, now you got wither sickness. You touched her. What the hell? She let him go. Gee, thanks, Jesse, Petra. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Well, fuck you too. Jesse. Go and find the others. Hopefully, you can find a way to get down to me or something. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. So happy I went with her. <laughs> what a poor choice that was. <laughs> Damn. Now he's down here alone with the amulet, and that's it. Well, he's got this inventory of crap. My inventory full of garbage. Here, who wants a lever? I wonder if you can use that lever later in the game for something good. Oh, pick your amulet again. What the hell is this? How deep does this go? Well, it's pretty much just like real Minecraft. You got all these weird-ass underground caves that go to nowhere because they're randomly generated. Ah, oh, yes. Limit my walk speed to make the suspense build, uh, you know, more dramatically here. Yes. Ah. There is an exorbitant amount of helicopters and planes flying over my house tonight. <laughs> I live near an airport, so it's not surprising. Looking, looking. What the heck? It looks like a giant cathedral or like a mansion, right? With all these lights inside. It's bizarre, man. I guess where I gotta go. This big ominously opened door. Nowhere else I can go. It's a dead end over here, it looks like. Yeah. Invisible walls. I can't go over there. Darn. The altar. He must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Hmm. Ivor! <gasps> you! Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. I found the rest of the Order. What good will that do? I'm here with the Order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The Order? <laughs> Believe me! That plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. Hmm. They cannot help you. Let me guess, he's gonna say they didn't do anything, it was him. I choose not to. Who saved the world previously. I bet so, I bet that's what he's gonna say. Move! Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. Whoa! <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> oh my god, now they're gonna fight. Foolish girl! Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. You should let the order do it. They'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. No. <laughs> She's so pissed at him. I'm the only one who can stop the wither storm. Not you, not the order. Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. Shut up, Pee Wee! I know that's you, Paul Rubens. I'm gonna get your ass. Just keep your pants on this time, all right? We're not inside of a, a, a nudie house. <laughs> all right, that was uncalled for. Oh shit! I almost missed it. I almost missed the You're button. Not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. 
If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> Whoa! I'm like the wind! Nope. Whoa! Limboed under the sword! Damn. I'll go through you if I had to. That's it. Enough of this. <laughs> Again with this. How is he so damn fast? He's an old man. Look at this. Look at the flash. <laughs> You've been outmatched, you old man. This way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> hmm. It's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> Whoa, good dodge. <laughs> He's throwing stuff. Look at this. Nice action sequence. End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. Where'd he go? This one's on you, you puffed up fool! Ah! Aha, screw you! Uh, there's no time for this. Uh, 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 uh. Jesse! Petra! Aha, uh -huh, the reinforcements! Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. But query, have you ever seen the effect? of a splash potion of slowness. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> of our they think they can stop me. That they can destroy the wither storm. But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. What a dick. That's it. Wow, that was quick. That was a really short episode. Next, Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Dun dun dun. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves. Would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Will I stop talking so slowly and dramatically? Only time <laughs> will tell. Damn. Well. Left Behind, Chapter 6. Look, you and 13% of players switched to attack the gas with a fishing reel. 73% of players stole the repeater. 95% of players stayed to help Ellie build the command block. 86% departed the temple at night. Huh. I guess that's it. That's all that's showing for now. But apparently it says you can see more online. Whoa, so almost no one used the fishing reel at all. Everyone used the sword, but I used the fishing reel. And somehow it worked because it glitched out or something and just disappeared. It never really showed me what happened. Bizarre, right? So that's it for episode two. Assembly required. Now I've got mixed feelings about this one, alright? I said right at the beginning of this playthrough, I said... Boy, does this seem like this episode came out fast, right? I think now we can see why. Uh, it was incredibly short. It was an hour, basically. One hour of gameplay. Uh, you know, less, actually around less than half of, of the length of the first episode. And quite honestly, I think there might have been that, like I said, that alternate scenario if you had picked to go after the rogue instead of the red uh, chemist or whatever. But why do you only get to play one and not the other? Why, when we met up, with Axel, can he say, well, here's what happened. He tells you the story, and then you play through that story. That's kind of lame. 
And I think what they want you to do is go back, like I said, and replay episode one to make the different choice. So all they're doing here is, again, they're giving you the illusion of choice. Like they do with all Telltale games. They're pretending like your choices have an influence. Quite honestly, it doesn't. You should be able to play both. And just because you put one or the other as your first priority last episode, why do you only get to do one out of the two? That's freaking silly, in my opinion. So, I actually don't like that about this episode. I think that they should have had both scenarios in there. Maybe it would have extended the length by, say, 20, 30 minutes, and at least 90 minutes is good length for an episode. What this felt like to me was a quick television episode. That's almost exactly what this is starting to feel like now. Like, you're watching a television show, and every week there's one episode, so you watch it. But I'm wondering now what's going to happen with episode three of this. Is this going to come out in another few weeks? You know? Or are they going to take their time now? Are they going to design it a little, a little better and do a little bit better job? I don't know. Uh, it's a little disappointing. I thought it could have been a lot better. If you, like, double the length, it would have been great. I like it. For the hour that it was here, I actually liked it. But it was way too short, in my opinion. I like that they got these side plots going on that, you know, you got the withered sickness going on. And you don't know what, what's going on with Soren. You still don't know Ivor's true intentions or what happened with the Order. That's cool and all, but... I don't know. It does to me. This just seems like it was rushed for whatever reason, and that's a little disappointing because I really did like episode one a lot. So here's hoping, right? I'm skipping the credits because we've already seen them last time. Here's hoping that episode three they take their time with it and they do a little bit more work, and it becomes a longer episode that's a lot better and covers a lot more ground. You know what I mean? Uh, let's take a look at what the name of episode three will be. <clears throat> So, episode 1 was the Order of the Stone. Episode 2 was Assembly Required. Episode 3 is going to be called The Last Place You Look. Hmm. Not sure what that means. And it's kind of confusing because Assembly Required, right? What Assembly was required? Maybe they're saying the Assembly for the, uh, to get into the Fortress, to get to the, to, what's her name, Eligard? You had to steal the, that that piece from another thing to build it to, to open up the doors. If that's the case, then what about Axel's story? Maybe you couldn't have ever played Axel's story? I don't know. It's very confusing. I'm kind of scratching my head right now. But Anyway, even though it was incredibly short, I hope you enjoyed Episode 2 of Minecraft Story Mode. I did buy the Season Pass, so I'm certainly uh, you know looking forward to playing the other episodes and see where it goes. Uh, and, and we'll go from there, all right? So thank you for watching. I appreciate it that you joined me for Episode 2. And hopefully I'll see you for the future episodes, whenever they may be, whether it's a couple weeks, or it's a couple months, or it's a couple years. Let's hope it's not a couple years. Alright, thanks everyone, see you later.